Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel and my mobile office. <laughs> it is a gorgeous day today. I don't know what the temperature is actually. It is 76 degrees, which is absolute perfection in our area. I am headed to a Sensi party. Um, it's about two hours away from here, you know, because I live in a small town and if I don't reach out, then my business is just going to be stagnant, which we do not want that. No stagnant businesses allowed. <laughs> so I had a surprise visit on Friday night. Um, at about eight o'clock, my daughter called me and asked what I was doing this weekend. <laughs> I know that game because I used to play that game with my parents. <laughs> so she was two hours away, it's a seven hour drive and they had already made the five-hour truck prior to that. So they brought me my baby so I could play with him this weekend. Very exciting. Um, so they have been here since, today's Saturday, since, um, I'm sorry, Thursday night. Thursday night. Uh, because yesterday was Friday. They've been here all day. And today they're going visiting um, to show him off to some friends while I have a party. Um, tonight we're having a spaghetti, 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 <laughs> spaghetti feed at my house. Uh, the sauce is already warming, cooking, and hopefully somebody makes some spaghetti because uh, it's going to be just sauce. Because I probably won't get home till about five or six this evening, and yeah. So I make a special spaghetti sauce in my crock pot. People love it. Apparently it's a signature <laughs> spaghetti sauce because I throw everything in it. I don't have a recipe. Um, and it's one of those things that when, you know, people say Edie's making some spaghetti sauce, they're all like, oh my god, can I come over? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, so the other thing that is going on with me is I've kind of stepped out of my comfort zone, which, you know, we need, we need to, we all need to do that periodically so that we do not grow stagnant, whether it's in our lives or in our businesses. And about two weeks ago, a week ago, maybe not two weeks. Um, I was kind of presented and you know what, one of the things in my life I find that because of what I put out into the universe, I find that things just kind of land in my lap and they happen to come at the right time when I need them for the right purposes. And this is no exception. So, uh, yeah, about a week ago, I, I kind of started hanging out in this group on Facebook about women empowerment. And they... Um, it's just a bunch of women. Well, there's men in there too, though. Um, that we kind of help each other. We, we congratulate each other. We promote each other. We motivate each other. Um, and it's a very positive atmosphere. And I love it. So I met a woman inside of that group. Um, and she does web design. So we started talking about... Um, options and what I could use a website for. Now I have a Sensi website and it's free, you know, as part of my consultant status. Um, well, I pay $10 a month, but it's basically free because it pays itself back every month. Um, so, and it's gorgeous. I mean, they do a really, really good job at updating it and making sure that everything is up to speed and the products are updated and it's just, it's amazing. So I love my Sensi website. There are others that will actually create another website for Sensi and pay for that. And I don't feel for me that it's necessary. It's just how I feel. Look at my bracelet. Isn't that stinking cool? I like my new bracelet. That's from Dress Your Truth. I am dressing my truth today. Yay. Um, okay. So <laughs> we digress. So yeah. So we talked about a website and I, I basically have determined, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but it's not been something that I wanted to um, 
put out in the universe as of yet because I was scared. Everybody, you know what? People are scared of success. Why? Because they don't know what it's going to bring. They don't know how much time it's going to it's going to take. They don't know what obstacles you might run. And the fear of the unknown is really what we're scared of. It's not the fact that we want to we don't want to succeed because we do. It's the fear of the unknown. So that's kind of where I've stood for a while, and I, I decided <laughs> decided one day that I needed to step outside of that comfort zone. Um, and kind of venture, start venturing towards this thing that I have been wanting to do. Now, I really have not come out um, and said what it is that I'm doing. It's something, you know what, guys, it's some, and I'm not going to share it all on this video because I need stuff to kind of fall into place first before I start talking about it. Um, but it's part of who I am and it's part of something I've been doing for a long time and I feel that it's time for people to have access to me um, and to be able to grow in their lives which includes my own life so that's all you're getting and you might figure out what it is because it is it's who I am but um, it's going to be a journey honestly and I and, and let me back up the bus part of one of Sensi's um, actually it's not even just Sensi it's the direct sales association one of the rules is that you can't you can't cross promote so one of my biggest hesitations has been that I don't want to ever jeopardize my status and my position with the Sensi family I just I won't do it I won't um, put myself in a position where I could potentially lose my business. I just, I won't do it. Um, and I actually had a conversation with our uh, CEO, president. Um, I don't know what his exact, he's the owner. And um, I had a conversation with him and I am feeling on top of the world because of what we talked about, what we discussed, and knowing that I am on the right path and moving forward towards some incredible things so I'm doing what I need to be doing and I'm loving it so with that said um, this woman is helping me she is helping me with a website she's helping helping me with some marketing um, she's helping helping me with some blogging which I have a blog but I haven't really been very good at it and you know what happens I find is I do most of my blogging here on my channel so they call that vlogging and then I'll go and embed the video on my blog so I mean what difference I mean I, I don't know so I've kind of struggled not struggled but I've just not taken charge of the blog side of it um, and there's a lot of potential and a lot of power in a blog you know it's it's as much power and potential as it is on the video side on the written side so that's that so she's gonna help me with all of that and I'm pretty excited I'm pretty stoked yes I'm a little nervous because like I said we're fearful of the unknown and one thing is I'm afraid to put too much on my plate but I know that if I put out there that I'll be able to handle it and that it will come to me in doses that I am able to manage then that's what's gonna happen I have no doubt in my mind so my um, manifestation that I'm hoping will happen is that this new project will be added on to an existing part of who I am, um, a new business venture journey that will come um, easily and without headache, without stress, and I'll find all the time that I need to allot to it without jeopardizing anything with Sensi because I think they will actually coexist. I think it's going to be amazing. My team is going to flourish because of it. Um, and they're gonna benefit hugely by it. So if you're not on my team, you probably should be. <laughs> so yeah, that's what uh, is happening. So be staying tuned for that because I'm sure I'll be doing a video at some point to let you know the different stages of where I'm at because we're not too far from me announcing or letting people know what I'm doing 
we're not that far. Um, you know, maybe about a couple months, if that. We'll see. Not sure. Um, other than that, I am just enjoying my grandbaby. He is absolutely amazing. Um, I have heard a couple different things about grandchildren. I'd heard some of these things before. Um, if I had, if I had, if I, if I had known what I knew now, then I would have had grandchildren first. People say that a lot. Um, the other thing is, um, grandchildren are God's gift for not killing your children. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, and then the love for a grandchild is so huge because of the love that you have for your children and you get to see the love they have for theirs. So there's two times the amount of love and that's why grandchildren are loved as much as they are by their grandparents. I don't know if I explained that right, but it makes sense in my head. Anyway, I hope you all have an awesomely amazing day. Go and make it an awesomely amazing day for somebody else. Have a great day, bye. Bye. Have a great day, bye. Have a great day, guys. Bye. <laughs>